hello everyone welcome to electric motors course uh, in this lecture we will discuss the the test that is performed on the uh, specially for series motors specially for series motor so whatever the test we have conducted uh, previous um, uh, there are different methods for testing the dc machines so we have started we have this winburns test we have hopkinson test retardation test brake test so all those tests were conducted on the dc shunt machines but here there is a, a specific method for dc series motor in case of dc series motor the dc series motor should never be run on no load so whatever the uh, indirect methods uh, we have for dc shunt motor those methods cannot be applied to the dc series motor so this is the particular test that is to be conducted that is conducted on the dc series motor so this test is usually conducted in pairs so here one machine is acted as motor one dc machine is acted as generator so this is the connection diagram of the field test so here one one machine is made to run as motor one machine is made to run as generator so the generator field is separated from the uh, the field is exited from the separate supply so you can see here this is the generator field which is connected in series with the motor here so here the fields of these two machines fields of these two machines you can observe here are connected in series so that the both the machines are equally excited the both the machines are equally excited and this will also make the iron losses of the generator and motor or iron losses of the motor and generator are same for the these two machines so the two machines are running at the same speed here since the uh, output of the motor is connected as input to the generator so same shaft so the both the machines will be running at the same speed the generator output is then the output of the generator here it is given to the some load with a uh, variable resistance r now the procedure is we need to give the supply here the motor should uh, series motor should never be run on no load since uh, to avoid that we have connected a dc generator here right so uh, initially there should be some uh, we can apply some load to avoid the uh, dangerous speed of the uh, motor once you apply the dc supply the motor starts operating motor starts operating right so what we the procedure is we need to take down the readings till it reaches reaches the rated current rated current so once you start the motor we need to keep applying the loads at different uh, load uh, currents we need to note down all the ammeter readings a1 a2 v1 and v2 ammeter readings and voltmeter readings v1 is the voltage across the armature of the motor v2 is the voltage across the load so uh, we need to keep increasing this load until either the rated current of the motor is reached or the rated current of the generator is reached so upon conducting this experiment and noting down the different readings for different loads we can calculate the efficiency of the series machines so especially we need to calculate the efficiency of both the machines that is efficiency of generator and efficiency of the motor so let us see how to calculate the efficiencies by using this uh, voltmeter and ammeter readings so let us assume the apply voltage is supply voltage is v i1 is the current taken by the motor i2 is the load current the i1 is the current taken by the motor means it is the supply current i2 is the load current that is current flowing through the uh, variable resistance or v2 is the voltage across the load or it is the terminal voltage of the generator ra is the armature armature uh, resistance of motor and generator rs is the field resistance of motor and generator so let uh, we are assuming it here as both the resistance will be same here that is armature 
of motor and generator is same field resistance of motor and generator are same this so the power taken from the supply is it is voltage into current current is i1 so v into i1 output of the generator is voltage into current that is v2 into i2 this is the total losses in the machine in both the machines so here we are talking about the total losses in both the machines so input power is equal to usually it is output plus losses right output plus losses so here output total losses is equal to this is the total loss which is equal to input minus losses so the total losses in the machine that is in motor and as well as generator is equal to the input power that is v into i1 minus output that is v2 into i2 v2 into i2 so this losses includes the copper losses and stray losses copper losses and stray losses so the total losses is equal to stray loss plus this copper loss so if you calculate only stray loss this will be equal to total loss minus the copper loss this copper loss includes for both the machines it is armature copper loss field copper loss of both generator and motor so armature copper loss of motor and generator is uh, armature copper it is ra into i1 square ra into i1 square field copper loss since both the fields are connected in series here so we are considering it as two times the rsc into current is again i1 square this is i1 square okay this is i1 square current so since ra of the motor rsc of generator rsc of motor are all are in series so we are adding all the resistance into the current square that is i1 square plus the armature uh, copper loss of the generator that is current is i2 square this is i2 square i2 square into r so these are the uh, copper losses armature copper loss and field copper loss of the motor and generator so by knowing this we can calculate the stray losses that is uh, total losses minus copper losses so let us assume the copper loss uh, stray losses for both the machines are equally divided since we have motor and generator so stray losses per machine this losses is for combined motor and generator so what we do we will separate this stray losses for both the machines so stray losses for both the machine is for each machine per machine is equal to this divided by 2 since we are equally dividing the losses this divided by that is total losses minus copper losses divided by 2 so let us say that is as w s so now we know the uh, stray losses when the two machines are equally excited and running at the same speed the stray losses are equally divided so for motor let us find out the uh, efficiency okay the input of the motor is voltage into current the voltage is v1 current is i1 and the total losses of the motor are armature copper loss field copper loss and stray loss armature copper loss is i1 square this is i1 square into ra plus rsc ra is the armature resistance rsc is the series field resistance and stray loss is we are considered as ws so uh, efficiency of the motor is given by output divided by input since output is mechanical so we convert this output to the uh, input plus losses because these are the electrical quantities so input is v1 into i1 output is input minus this output we write as out input minus losses it is input minus losses divided by again input input so in input is v in v1 into i1 total losses here this i1 square into ra plus rsc plus ws divided by input is v1 into i1 so this is how we calculate the efficiency of the dc series motor by using this equation similarly we can calculate the efficiency of the dc series generator also so for generator the efficiency of the generator is little important because it is running under the conditions of separate excitation we are uh, separately excited to the the uh, field wing, field winding is separately excited to the generator still it can be found out the output of the generator is v2 into i2 output of generator is v2 into i2 and the field copper loss 
of the generator is the current flowing in the field is i1 again it is i1 square okay this is i1 square into rse i1 square into rse because the current flowing in the uh, field winding of generator is again i uh, i1 only you can observe in the uh, diagram this the same current whatever the uh, current flowing in the motor series field and armature the same current is flowing in the generator series field also now the armature copper loss armature current is different i2 square into re so this is i2 square into re now the total losses is equal to armature copper loss field copper loss and stray loss so if you add these three we will get the total losses so input to the generator the efficiency of generator is output by input by input is mechanical so what we do you will convert this input as output plus losses output is v2 into i2 plus this losses so efficiency of generator will be equal to output that is v2 by i2 divided by input uh, is written as output plus losses that is output is v2 i2 plus losses is i1 i2 square ra plus i1 square rc plus ws so this is how by using this formula we can calculate the efficiency of the dc series generator by conducting the field test so this field test is conducted mainly on the mainly on series machines that is uh, series generator and series motor thank you